I had a kind of a normal path in getting into astronomy, I would say, and that as a kid I wanted to be an astronaut. Um, and that, that didn't work out because my eyes are terrible. Um, but once I w had that passion about uh, space, I started studying astronomy basically at a, at a pretty young age, and that drove a, a really large interest in physics. So I was a physics major as an, as an undergrad and then went into astronomy in graduate school after that. So I did my undergraduate at West Point, which is not exactly the uh, standard path into astronomy. Um, but while I was at West Point, I won a fellowship that allowed me to go to graduate school. And so I had to make a big deal with the Army to allow me to skip between graduate school and the Army over the next eight years. And uh, through that path, I was an artillery officer for about six years and also finished up my PhD um, in, the, uh, in a kind of a going back and forth between graduate school and the Army. So it's a very non-traditional path, but I actually really enjoyed my time in the Army. And uh, it taught me a lot of different things than you uh, get, normally get taught on the path through academia. Well, the, the, the best thing is find what you're interested in, obviously, and, and work on it. Uh, that's basically the thing. If you're passionate about what you do, and I absolutely love what I do, um, it comes easy. And so follow your dreams, do, do what you enjoy, and then study hard. And then that's, that's basically it.